Hi, my name is David. Today we're going to solve one of the most classic algorithm problems. So we're going to today we're going to do lead code easy on JavaScript valid palindromes. So given a string, determine if it is a palindrome, considering only alphanumeric characters and ignoring cases. And here are the examples we need. So how we're going to do this? We're going to use pointers to solve this problem. So the first thing we need to do is that we need to get rid of, it only cares about alphanumeric characters and we have to get rid of the spaces and the special characters. So how are we gonna do that? We're gonna use regular expressions to get rid of them. So create regular expression to uh, replace special, special characters. with uh, nothing. So it'd be an empty, empty string. So that's to clean up the string that they give us this S string and what we need. Next, so how, how we're gonna make sure that it's a palindrome. So we're gonna use the pointers and then how we're gonna do is, is that we're gonna check the first character with the second character. If there's a match, we move on and continue iterating through. And then until we go through it, and if there's a case where it doesn't equal to each other, we return false. And if, if it doesn't, if it keeps equaling to each other, it goes through it and then we'll have to return true, making it saying that it is a palindrome. So we, let's stay, we're gonna use create variables to stay organized on it. And we're gonna start with the left pointer. So we have to create a variable for the left pointer. Create left index variable to keep track of the left pointer. And now we have to do the same with the right side, create right index variable to keep track of the right pointer. Now we're gonna iterate through and how long do we iterate through? We're gonna iterate through so long as these are equal to each other until up until they're equal to each other. So create while loop until the variables, the pointers equal to each other. So what happens in this while loop? We have to check the values of each one and it will be false if they don't equal to each other. So we'll exit the loop when it's a false, when they don't equal each other. So we have to create a condition for this. Create condition to see if values of pointers don't equal to each other. And we do, and when that happens, we return false. But if it doesn't happen, we increment, we keep going, we keep iterating through the string. So we increment the left pointer, increment left index. And then we, on the right side, we decrement that. And we're pretty much in, if it goes through the entire loop without returning false, we return true because everything equals to each other, return true values in the string are equal to each other. Okay, now let's put this into code. So the first step is that we gotta get rid of all the special characters and spaces. So this S, the string, we're gonna create an entire new, new one. So we're gonna do S equals S dot replace. And now we are gonna replace it with, with, we're gonna use regular expression for the first parameter and then get rid of everything and put it, set it equal to an empty string. So now we have to bring up the syntax of the regular expression. So we do slash bracket. And inside of this, we want everything that's not a alphabet, a alphabetical or a numeric. So this will be not an A to Z and also zero to nine. 
And this will be globally and including the lower cases and upper cases for this. Next, we'll create the variables for each one. Uh, left index. And we're going to start at the index of zero for the left side. And then on the right side, index, we have to do the length of it minus one. And that will give us the endpoint of the index. Now we create a while loop until left index. is less than right index. And inside of this, we have to create the condition to see if, to check the values. And if they're false, if they don't agree with each other, we return false. So if, now we get the values, S left index does not equal to S right index, we uh, return false. And to, to make sure the alphabetical is not a problem, we can add two lower case for each of them. And, I, and then we increment the left index by one if we keep, keep going through it as long as they're equal to each other. And then we decrement, I'm sorry, left increment, we do it in code, we do the plus plus. And for the right side, we do a minus minus. And once that's through, we will return true once you go through it all. Now let's check. So we need a closing parentheses here. Oh, and get rid of a little syntax error. Great. And then for the time course complexity, since we're doing a loop, we do a O of N. Because we have a loop. And then the space, we're just storing a constant variables. So it'll be O of 1. And that is how to solve valid palindrome on LeetCode.